Welcome, it's Alex here, and today we're gonna be taking a look or another look again at the Marvel Legends um, Marvel action figure. Even though I've already uh, done a review of this one uh, way back when I was still starting the channel, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. Now, for the third figure from this wave, uh, Marvel doesn't really have any accessories out of the box. But uh, these Nega Bands right here, they are a floating removable pieces so uh, you can kind of consider that as an accessory but the one that um, Marvel does come with uh, for Abomination's blue figure part is um, Abomination's left arm right here and going back to Marvel uh, Marvel is utilizing the um, spider UK body mold uh, which I don't have but um, the the other figure that I have in my shelf that utilizes this mold is Magneto from the Family Matters 3 pack. And for Marvel's articulation, Marvel is sitting on a disc hinge and ball peg that enables to move his head up and down and also rotates and he's got um, tilting on his head. Both of his arms are able to rotate and then able to raise uh, this high as a Bicep swivels, double jointed elbows, wrist hinges up and also down as well as wrist rotation. Then his ab crunches forward, leans back, has a waist swivel, foot can kick forward really high, kick back just a tiny bit able to do the splits only this much then he's got upper thigh swivel double jointed knees that can only bend this much and he's got boot rotation foot hinges forward hinges back and also pivots and here is Marvel along with the rest of the figures from this wave and measuring Marvel Marvel stands at about six and a half inches so uh there you go the circuit look for this um for the marvel marvel legends action figure and uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video